See this? That's that bear you just saw. It's not that big, is it? It's sitting right in my hands. And you got a choice right now. You can either let the bear market control you, or you can take the market into your hands and control the bear market so it won't bite you. Um, I last spoke to you back in uh, May, and if you recall, uh, I was telling you that I'd shorted stocks, and I thought the market had topped out, that the market rally that started in March was over with, and that you should get out. You should uh, raise a lot of cash, and if you wanted to, you could take some short positions like I have, and I'm still holding mine. I'll talk about that in a few moments. Um, but when I talked to you and did that video series, I, I mean, it was about 50 minutes long altogether. I told you all the reasons why this is a bear market and why the market was going to fall, and, and that's exactly what's happened. Uh, in June, uh, we saw the, la the worst uh, monthly loss for the Dow since sometime in the 1930s. And uh, this is July 4th when I'm talking to you right now. In a few hours, I'm going to shoot some fireworks off, have a cookout with a bunch of friends of mine, and just enjoy the holidays, like I'm sure you're going to do too. Uh, but before I do that, I wanted to use this time to talk to you about the market and, and uh, what I think you should do and what I think is going to happen uh, over the short term. First of all, I want to emphasize the fact, again, that I told you back then, and now I'm thinking maybe you'll listen to me because you've seen the market drop just as I told you it was, that this is, in fact, a bear market. Uh, if you recall, I told you when I did those videos that I was watching someone on Fox News claim that the market was unstoppable and was going to go to new 52-week uh, highs because he claimed oil was going to pull back and that was going to be the catalyst. Well, of course, we've seen the exact opposite happen. Oil is now at $145 a barrel. And of course, the stock market is much lower, and uh, it has been—it was stopped and, and has uh, fallen. Well, two things I want to talk to you today. Uh, first of all, you have to recognize that this is a bear market and adjust yourself accordingly. This little uh, statue you see—I um, see it every morning. I, when I wake up in the morning, I have it somewhere in my house where I see it, and I do this on purpose because I want to see this to remind myself that this is a bear market so that when I go uh, study the stock market or, or do trades or do anything of my investments, I keep that fact in mind before uh, in, in the forefront uh, with anything I do that this is a bear market and there's certain bear market strategies and tactics uh, that you have to use if you want to make money. If you want to simply uh, protect yourself, you should have uh, gotten out uh, on the last rally and you should also look to get out on the next rally and that's what I want to talk about the short term. As I said, uh, back in May when I last talked to you, uh, I was short the market. I told you I was short. I'm still short. I still have my positions. And we've seen the market uh, decline dramatically. But we're getting to a point now with the S&P 500 basically hovering above the March and January highs that the market is in danger of having a panic, uh, quick uh, sell-off that could last anywhere from a week to two weeks. We could see the Dow fall from anywhere from 500 to 1,000 points. I'm not going to claim to know uh, the exact point the Dow is going to bottom next. Uh, the point of the matter is that when you have bear market declines, they always end in the same way. And that's of a climatic sell-off that brings lots of panic and fear into the market. And we saw that in January, we saw that in March, we saw that last year in August, and I believe we're about to see that again. And when you have that kind of panic, uh, what is going on is all the people who didn't sell when they should have on the rally or even during the decline, uh, they hold on in desperation, uh, they hold on refusal to admit that this is a bear market, and they come up with all these crazy theories and rationalizations to convince themselves it's a bull market. And of course, uh, they're wrong. So what happens is they hold and hold as things fall, 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 and it gets to a point where they simply cannot uh, take the losses anymore and they sell out and panic. And that's why uh, these bear market declines always end in some sort of big panic washout. We've, like I said, we just, we've just seen three in the past year, and I believe we're about to see another one uh, sometime shortly. And when we do see that, that's when I'm going to get out of my positions, and I'm going to come up with some sort of strategy over this weekend for the uh, members on the website about you know what possibly to go long in or what I should go long in and, and so forth. And I'll be presenting that uh, to them. But for you, um, I don't know you know, your investment situation. I don't know where you bought the positions you may still be holding and facing significant losses on. Um, but 
I, I can't tell you what you should do. I mean, maybe you should sell now and you can't face another 10% decline. Uh, but I do believe the market will turn around in the next week or two. And um, if it does, what you're going to want to do is sell into the next rally, which will probably you know, come to an end sometime late August or September, possibly. Uh, but I'll be keeping my pulse on the market uh, and letting the market tell me what it's going to do instead of uh, saying it should do this. And that's what you've seen people do over the past couple of weeks as the market has gone lower. You've seen people say the S&P 500 is at 1300. It's got to rally right now. This has got to be the bottom. And now you're seeing the same thing right now. The S&P 500 is at the March low. This has got to be the bottom. I'm buying right now. Uh, hold on. Uh, double down and so forth. And, and this is why you get another reason you get these climatic sell-offs is because the market will fall to perceived support levels where it's so called has got to bottom and it doesn't and it just goes lower and, and that causes the people who bought in thinking this is the bottom to sell out as it drops more and contributes to the panic uh, washout that always happens in a bear market declines and you can count on it to happen again right here but the most important thing what you need to do is admit that this is a bear market and then come up with a plan uh, tailored to yourself personally on what you should do to adjust to it so you don't lose any more money so you don't see the market rally up again back up to that 150 to 200 day moving average and then you just sit there and get all excited because all the people on TV are telling you this is a uh, new time new boom times are right around the corner when that was the optimal time that you should have gotten out and you're gonna get another chance to get out like that again um, probably in August or September and you're gonna have to take advantage of it or else you're gonna suffer uh, from declines like you're just ex like you've experienced the past couple weeks and you're likely going to suffer from uh, some more over the next couple of weeks if you haven't adjusted uh, your accounts and did what you should have done um, don't blame yourself for that that's what almost everybody is doing uh, this mistake the professional money managers make all the mutual fund managers are making and uh, you can separate yourself from that and uh, the first step in doing that though is to look at the market for what it's actually doing and again that's what I do with myself with this statue every morning I wake up and I see this to remind myself that this is a bear market and hopefully sometime next year I'll put this statue up in a closet and I'll have a bull market statue to look at and uh, we'll be talking about bull markets instead of these vicious uh, bear markets so um, I'm gonna take off uh, got some fireworks to shoot off, uh, some beers to drink, steaks to eat, and, and friends to talk with. And I hope you have a good uh, July 4th too. And we'll be keeping in touch in the next uh, weeks and months. I don't know how many frequently I'll be doing videos. I mean, like I said, I'm likely to go on vacation once or twice. But anyway, you get the idea. I'll be talking to you later. Uh, enjoy the day.